checking in on weather a little bit closer to home with meteorologist Nate Larson. Nate, we haven't seen as severe weather, fortunately, as others, but temperatures are getting pretty warm here in Utah. Yeah, excessive heat's a form of severe weather, right? It definitely can take a toll on uh, those of us that try to get outside. Uh, looking at what we saw this evening, that was a gorgeous sunset. No severe weather this evening across the state. This was a shot from Brian Williams, he says, uh, in Draper of the sunset this evening. Meg Roberts capturing some of the sunset as well from the Salt Lake Valley. Uh, lots of oranges out there. Beautiful conditions, a little bit of cloud cover. We're seeing just a slight uptick as a weak trough of low pressure is sliding through. It's going to just have a few small changes to the forecast. Otherwise, we're going to copy and paste the forecast tomorrow from what we saw today. In fact, uh, fairly calm conditions here from the studio. The Almanac uh, showing 100 degrees today. We had overnight lows about 73, so we were above normal for overnight lows. We were almost 10 degrees above our normal high. If we would have hit that, we would have just been a degree shy uh, of our record high at 104. So sitting at 100, uh, not the record for today, but uh, certainly a scorcher of a day. Our second triple digit day of the season so far. We typically have around four, but it's hard to say that's typical when last season we had 34 100 degree days. Weather headlines in the sizzling heat's going to continue. We're staying dry as well, with exception of tonight. Could see a stray shower or storm across mainly the higher terrain. Increasing fire potential across southern Utah with some of the blustery winds for tomorrow and Tuesday. Temperatures in southern Utah will continue to climb. Mention some of the blustery winds. Future wind speeds showing anywhere from oh, 15 to 25 mile per hour winds expected. These are sustained winds across southern Utah tomorrow. This is all thanks to that storm system pulling off towards the northeast that's moving through tonight and we'll continue to see some elevated winds on Tuesday. Calmer conditions expected I think statewide by midweek. Uh, we will see a bit of a break in northern Utah from the extreme heat or excessive heat but down in southern Utah that will continue. In fact wildfire threat for tomorrow is elevated across the southern part of the state with those extreme temperatures, low relative humidity and we will continue to see that dry southerly flow stay in place. High pressure into the southeast of us eventually migrates off towards the west. We might see a smidgen of moisture across the eastern part of the state throughout the week as some of that ridge shifts off towards the east. Note the northwest flow that takes over by the end of the week across northern Utah that will help drop temperatures closer to average but not give us any shower activity. In fact, look where the moisture is. The moisture for the next seven days well around the uh, western part of the U.S. It's all across the state eastern part of the country as we have this ridge that's blocking any storms moving in. Highs tomorrow then 99 for Salt Lake 104 and St. George Hanksville 101. St. George will stay in those uh, 104 105 range Monday Tuesday 106 Wednesday near 110 by the end of the week and 112 to 113 Saturday Sunday 112 could tie the current record on Saturday Sunday's record is 115 the Wasatch Front 99 for Monday upper 90s Tuesday Wednesday just to the mid 90s Thursday, Friday, so a slight break. Temperatures back into the upper 90s and 101 Saturday, Sunday next week with sunshine expected to uh, continue. Sarah.